How's it going guys? In today's video I'll be showing you how I speed up my website creation process to create websites in a fraction of the time. To do this I use something called a design kit. It's basically a template project that has a ton of sections pre-made. For example hero sections, pricing sections, testimonials and a bunch more. The thing about these sections is that they're not really stylized. So what I do is I pick the sections that I want and the components that I want and I use them to structure my site and then I go in and customize it to give it that unique look. And this saves us a lot of the work because we don't have to build everything from scratch. These pre-made sections and components serve as a base for us to build upon. In this video, we're going to be using the Segment UI kit. Segment UI provides a ton of framing resources, not just the kit, but also a bunch of cool components and overrides that you can use in your site which we'll also be using today. So let's jump straight into it. Once you're on the segment UI homepage, just head down here to Framing UI Kit, click Remix, and you can select one of three options, either the Light Mode Kit, the Dark Mode Kit, or the Dynamic Kit. I'll just choose the Light Mode for now. Now you'll see that everything that we previously previewed is here in my project sorted in folders. On the homepage, we can go ahead and delete what was already there and we can start creating. So let's go into the section folder and select a hero section. I personally really like this one, so let's go ahead with that. I'll just chuck it right in and you'll see that the section is already compatible for both tablet and mobile. Let's go ahead and select a trust section. So I think the first one actually looks pretty good. Let's paste a bento as well. And I'll keep this website short. So let me quickly just drop a footer. I really like this one with the big button. It's kind of unique. So I'll go ahead and drop that. What's cool about all of these sections is that not only are they already responsive, but they're also already linked to both textiles and colors, meaning we can just go here to assets, edit it here, and it's gonna change across the entire site. I'll just go ahead and apply custom font and some custom styling. Let's start by changing up the phones and add some images. So I'll actually go ahead and add some quick animations. I won't bore you with the details, but basically it starts here and it ends here. And I'll do the same for the other side. And let's just make all of these slightly bigger and let's add a bit more roundness to them. And we can go ahead and use the different styles to also change the border. So I actually want something like this. And if we go here to styles, let's select the shadow that we want. So I want this shadow. We'll just go ahead and copy it and then head back home and paste it on all of our phones. Let's actually make it slightly bigger, something like this. And you'll see that we already customized it to be a lot more unique. The next thing I'll do is I'll change the text to match my brand. And let's also play with the size a bit. And again, because this is a textile, I can just go and let's lower maybe the line height. And it will actually apply across the entire site. Let's change the font as well. And now I kind of want the logo of the website here at the top. I think that could be a unique idea. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and select primary 500. And then we can go ahead and turn it to a gradient. And on the other end, I'll put primary 300 and I'll just change that value as well and let's go ahead and rotate it a bit now let's just take a button and instead of these two I'll just paste this and remove this I actually want to increase the radius let's go ahead and put something like 99 let's change the text and let's go ahead and also paste this icon real quick which I think makes it look much better now the final thing I'm gonna do is just draw these large squares um, let's go ahead and give them the primary 500 color. Let's go ahead and give them this sort of radio gradient and put a bit of blur on them just to give it that extra bit of smoothness. And I'll just go ahead and chuck them right here. There we go. Let's duplicate it and put one here. Now let's move on to the other sections of the site. Here with the bento, I think we can remove a bunch of these columns and stick with just four. This just kind of goes to show you that you can manipulate the main structure. And from here, we can just make it our own as should you. So I think I'm just going to skip the part where I customize it and come back. So here you go, already looks a lot more custom. We can even maybe add the blurs from before down here. So let me just go ahead and copy that and let's paste it here. Now here the last folder is CMS. So let's say your website has a blog. Essentially, you can come here to the main blog section and choose whichever section you like and delete the rest. So I think I like this section the most. I'm just gonna drag it over to the top here and select all of the rest and delete them. And you'll see that now we're basically left with the blog section that we like. Again, you can go ahead and customize it. I actually want to use our primary color. Let's go ahead and decrease the opacity. So something like 50. And I also want to make the images square. I'll just go ahead to the CMS and add images. And actually, I think let's go with this kind of grayish. And for the text, I want it to be uh, dark here and gray for the author. And notice how fast we went from no website 
to a fully working website with a functioning blog that even has filters and look at this beautiful homepage that we built in a matter of seconds as well the last year on top that we can go ahead and incorporate is go to the segment ui homepage look at the component library where they have a ton of custom components that you can put on top of your website so after scrolling i found this fingerprint scanner which i think will go really good with our security feature bento so i'll just go ahead and paste it let's go ahead and edit the component and remove whatever we don't need and now we can just take this chuck it right here i'll go ahead and make this absolute let's actually lower the opacity on this and let's just give it a bit of a mask fade so i'll turn this mask around put it right here just so it doesn't interrupt the text and you'll see that now we have this cool fingerprint animation to go along with our security features we can also go here and copy this cool physics component which i think can go nice in our widgets kind of like to show the different apps that you can connect let's make it absolute I'll go ahead and put it here in the corner and I'll go ahead and play the site and you'll see that we have this completely interactive component that shows kind of the different pinned widgets. Obviously, I need to change the app logos here, but I think you get the point. It just gives you super fast ways to customize your website. We went from something that looks super, super bland to something that looks like this in a matter of minutes, which I think is super impressive. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Go to the first link in the description to get Segment UI and help you speed up your web creation process. Make sure to use my discount code thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one